Aloha everyone, it's Paulina from Off Grid Hawaii. It's been such a long time since I last made a video. I know it's like months and months. But we're here and we have this video for you guys. Um, and firstly, just wanna go over a couple of updates on us and everything that's been happening. So first off, the reason why I haven't been in many videos is because I've been working really, really hard at a zip line like all summer and my other job but that I quit but working a lot so really haven't really had much time to spend on making videos that's why Michael has been making all the videos a few weeks ago M Michael left for the mainland for about a month and he's the guy that you know has the camera does all the recording so he was not here so we couldn't really make videos in Hawaii obviously but now he's back and I'm here and now we can make this video finally so another update on Big Island because um, I am a newscaster now. So apparently the lava stopped flowing. That's what we heard. The lava has kind of like settled down a bit. Things are looking bright. The future is looking bright. And um, there was just one earthquake the other day that woke us up, but nothing crazy. And it's such a beautiful day today. It was a beautiful day yesterday. And things just look really nice here, Big Island. All right, so the video we're making today is how we control our mosquito population all around here. Um, this video was voted on by our Patreons. It got the most votes, so we have to make this video and tell you guys how we try to control the mosquito population. So stay right here. <laughs> so this video was originally gonna be called how we got rid of our mosquito problem, but we did not get rid of our mosquito problems. We tried um, different methods and Partly because of the lava, it didn't work. So we'll explain that why, but we'll still share with you guys so you could try at home and see if it works for you. Um, so for us, actually, I mean, I don't, I can't really speak for Michael right now. Maybe I could, but the mosquitoes aren't that bad where we're at. And we also aren't as affected as other people by mosquito bites. So it's not like a huge issue for us, but it's definitely something that I mean, like, the main thing that bothers me about mosquitoes is their buzzing right around my ear. It drives me crazy. But the mosquito bites is not really that bad. Um, and I don't think there's dengue fever on the island anymore either. Maybe. So this technique that we learned, we actually learned it at the plant Aloha permaculture classes at Hawaiian Sanctuary. Um, one of the presenters was speaking about water systems. And there she mentioned that in they have catchments, water catchments, um, and inside of the catchments they put fish. Um, she she used guppies, like little guppies, um, but she said any kind of fish could work because fish like to eat um, mosquito larvae. So what we did is we have this barrel here that collects rainwater off of the gutter from the tarp, and in it we placed some goldfish. So when we did this a few months back, um, the goldfish were thriving. They were really happy in there. Um, we placed some calcium carbonate at the bottom to kind of help neutralize the water a little bit. Um, and we, the fish were like this small, they got to about this big. And then one day it rained really, really hard, like all night. Um, the next morning, two of the fish were dead. Um, so this rain, is obviously very acidic because of the volcano um, so there was one fish left and it was doing okay but eventually maybe about a week later that one also died um, but for the time being we were noticing that in the water while the fish were still alive there was significantly less mosquito larvae swimming around because that's what they eat um, so after all the fish died, we decided to try it again. Since the lava has died down, it hasn't been raining as much. So we got four more fish. And today we only have one left again. So this isn't really working out because we don't want to be killing fish, but um, we just need to figure out a way to make the water optimal for the goldfish to live in there um, so, they can, so that they can keep eating the mosquito larva. All right, so the main thing with mosquitoes is that they have to lay their eggs in standing water. So that's why we have this bucket here. It's like a trap. So the mosquitoes, they're going to find the easiest place to just lay their eggs. And this big bucket of standing water is perfect for them. So they'll lay their eggs in there. Um, and 
they don't care, they don't know that there's fish in there, they're going to eat them. So the fish are going to eat all the eggs and that's why we put the fish in there. Um, so it's important that we try to keep the standing water everywhere else in the property in control so that they only find this spot where the fish are, or at least one of the fishes. So mosquitoes will lay eggs in any standing water. It could even be like about an inch deep somewhere. They'll lay an egg in there and it'll start living and then eventually hatch into a mosquito. And the mosquitoes, I believe the females live about two months. So we weren't able to fully see the whole experiment through because the fish died in less than that amount of time. So um, we just got to try to figure out um, how to make this water suitable for the fish so that we can actually do the full experiment for longer. Hey guys, the other thing we're doing is we're actually we're planting lemongrass around more around where we're, we're living. So that way it's really easy for us to come out here and just clip some off and uh, I mean really just have to cut it and it makes like a nice smell but you could also like get a bunch and like rub it in your hands and you know rub it on your skin and stuff but actually it's a bit sharp so be careful when you rub it you know make sure it's really broken up really good so we just planted all this around here um, our friend Ella helped us out and it was really nice of her and we put them uh, maybe like a foot and a half apart just kind of going around the whole perimeter of where we're living and this is definitely going to help a little bit but I'm really hoping that the fish thing works out because that preventing them from even laying eggs is probably the best way but if you already have mosquitoes the lemongrass will help you know repel them you know just make them go somewhere else because this stuff actually smells like somewhat of like bug spray that you put on so I think they use this in natural bug sprays so why not just grow it and have you know a whole yard full of natural bug repellent. So we wanted to mention that we do have this Patreon account and we created it mostly so that um, people that felt like they really wanted to donate to us anyway can have a way of doing that and also get a little perk in return. So people that are donating now, um, they're able to vote on the videos and have like some interaction with us but having said that um we are still not neglecting our regular youtube viewers um so if you guys still keep commenting giving us suggestions um and also on instagram definitely keep the messages coming we're still having conversations with our non-patreon viewers so just because we have that option for those who do want to donate we're not gonna neglect you guys that don't feel like donating because we totally get it it's okay you don't have to donate and we're still doing this because we want to spread the word out growing your food living free off grid so that's like our main thing yeah so i hope you guys got some good information from this video i hope it helps you out and we'll see you again next time hopefully soon and not in a very long time from now yeah, so like, comment, share, subscribe.